It's brown. <laughs> Welcome. I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hello and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This time it's of the Woolwich Committee Service Thrift Shop. The main entrance uh, door is on a street of full construction so this is the parking lot area and you can enter it from the uh, doors that were visible to the right. They had a sale going on at the back doors where the donations usually come in and uh, here we are we're entering the actual store it has two entrances one from within the complex and one at the corner of the intersection it's at we'll see that briefly at one point later on where the shopping carts are located just inside here we have all the books and hard goods uh, discs of various sorts They had a lot of interesting things, uh, not enough stuff for me to consider, but that's okay. I don't always come into these places knowing what I'm going to find, and sometimes I walk out with a few things that I, I've chosen, and other times I do not. This is a very nice looking store, it's a, it looks like a new build. It's. Uh, Oh, got some nice looking jewelry here in the case and some other costume jewelry as well. They have glassware as most thrift stores do, the ceramics, possibly some porcelain. They have the aluminum fry pans, or not fry pans, baking pans for like turkey or something of that nature. So if you needed a bunch of things for some meals for example when family comes together you could have done fairly well there instead of going to the regular stores leather jackets so if you if you're wait, thinking of this fall and the winter you could get ready there the store isn't enormous but it has just about everything you could look for in a thrift store children's section here with toys clothing for adults. I was searching for Hawaiian shirts. There's a table of glassware and some ceramics here. This is a cash desk area here. So we're going to see the little glass case underneath the top there. There's a couple of sections of it. considerable amount of clothing, uh, not necessarily a huge amount of any one size. So there's the tell a joke. And my joke was, it's brown. And of course I found some laugh tracks. They had some tie-dyed t-shirts. They were all pretty good actually. But I've got a massive collection of t-shirts as it is. No ramen, no life. Sounds like a s university student had donated that one. That's not bad. It's got some uh, rope cable design to it. The size wasn't particularly large. A nice collection of stars on that one. Not bad. They, they could go for Hawaiian. There's a Hawaiian shirt for sure. Uh, it wasn't a very large one, so I wasn't particularly interested in that. To the just a little bit to the right from that scene is the other entrance that has double doors so it's a roll-in entrance also none of the entrances are impeded by any steps 
looking at fabric and sometimes the what I'm looking for has actually been misplaced in the wrong racking. So there's some more glassware to be examined, some seasonal equipment there and other decor items. They had some flatware as well, or at least the box for flatware. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you can consider subscribing, give us, give us a like, and maybe even a tinkle on the bell so you'll be notified of the next one. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.